What's up, YouTube? This is a quick video on um, grabbing your SSH files out of your iPad. Uh, so first, you want to put your iPad in recovery mode. <clears throat> so you're going to hold down the home and power button. The home button is a little round button above the plug. Power button is the top right corner. You want to hold them down until uh, you see the Apple logo. Then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And eventually you'll see the iTunes logo and the USB cord. Alright, so I'm going to hold down the home and power. And it's going to go through this. Now I'm going to see the Apple logo. And right when I see that, I'm going to let go of the power button. So I let go of the power button. Keep holding the home button down here. Hope you guys can see this. Alright, so now we have the Connect to iTunes logo. I don't know if you guys can see that on here. And iTunes is saying that it's in recovery mode. So now, you want to go on your computer. And you're going to download this file that I'll have in the description. It's a program. It's right here. It's called Auto SSH. I'll have the link. The links will be in more info below this video if you click the little arrow on the right. Alright, uh, that's asking me if I want to let this program run. It says, please note an internet connection is required for this to work. Also, make sure only one device is connected in recovery mode. Okay. Do you have Java runtime installed on this PC? Yes. Now I just click this right up here, grab my SSH, SHSH blobs automatically, it's searching for it, and there's my ECID, it's asking me where I want to save it, I already have them saved but I'll save them as Rob2SHSH. So that just grabbed my SHSH files out of my iPad. So what that'll do is it'll protect you in case Apple comes out with some update and you accidentally update it or they try to block something. You'll have your original SHSH or your ECID which is um I don't know, your Basically, it's your hardware ID key to get into your hardware on your iPad. So it's definitely a good thing to do if you want to be safe. Uh, we don't know yet if it'll be necessary to use it or not. But I would definitely recommend you go ahead and do this. It takes five seconds. And it'll pretty much guarantee that you'll be able to restore to the original firmware if any problems should happen. So, alright, thanks for watching. It's Otis RHW. Rate, comment, subscribe, like this video. And thanks again.